All right, we're back today, continuing the predictions for season 14, this time talking about episode 13. And today I have with me for the first time two people from, from Patreon, sorry. The first one is Ivory Marble. That's what we're just going to call you, right? I mean, sure, you can call me, you can call me Tuesday, I don't give a fuck. Can I call you Jiggly? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we also have Joey Young, so welcome both of you. Let's start immediately with the introductions. Like, can you tell me a little bit about yourself regarding your likes when it comes to Drag Race? You know, what your favorite season is, maybe what your favorite queen is. So let's start with you, Ivory. I've been watching Drag Race since season two when my sister showed me and I immediately fell in love. I think my favorite queen whom I, ha whom I have met is is Bianca because she's hilarious my favorite mm -hmm. season I really really started to like the season from season two but I really love season six it's kind of just the mm. like that golden middle ground you know yeah no um, pun intended is the creme de la creme or, it um, is the creme de la creme <laughs> <laughs> and what about you Joey okay hi everybody my name is Joey Young I'm a singer songwriter from Pittsburgh all my music's on all streaming platforms so and just it will all be in the description by the way I started watching Drag Race Similarly to Ivory, my sister introduced me to the show uh, in season eight because I'm mm -hmm. a little, I'm a little young, whatever. So I got <laughs> on at season eight, and then I like I watched a, like a few episodes, and I saw Derek Barry, and I was like, oh my goodness, I love Britney Spears' work. So it's <laughs> it's so like bride at like a what do they call it? like the bachelorette parties? Like I was so the first time I watched, it, I was like, there's a Britney Spears here. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I love this. So like Derek was my first favorite queen and I only I watched through probably like half a season eight and then picked up for All Stars and it was really interesting because All Stars was like my first introduction to these queens and you know obviously the All Stars in that time period I mean everyone talks about like the golden age of drag race was like four five and six but I caught on right after so it's really mm -hmm. interesting how like I kind of saw like the next like you I got introduced to the show in a way that like made me love the show even more because you get like uh, those were the first arc of those characters that i saw that made mm -hmm. me go back to their original standing so season two of all stars has a big standing in my life but i would say like my favorite actual season was season 13. the reason why is because when i saw gotmik uh, for the first time i was so entranced like gotmik and simone when i saw like the pictures of their promos i was like oh it, it was God. their season it really was yeah it was since you liked season 13 so much do you like season 14. <laughs> i like season 14 i think mm -hmm. it has the similar quality to season 12 where the queens are so strong and i think also season 13's queens were very strong like towards this time period like top seven top six like mm -hmm. that area oh yeah i, d I didn't know who no, was gonna make yeah. where this is one of the first seasons i actually haven't read spoilers for so mm -hmm. i don't know what's gonna happen but i think overall this season has just been very long i love the cast this, this season has a great cast so far. I'm, I'm, I've fallen in love with every queen, even if they got eliminated early. I'm talking about you, Alyssa. You, you were, I, mm. Yes. <laughs> you got eliminated Number. that early. God, how we talked about this, you. How many episodes have there been this season besides the first two that have been non-elimination based episodes? I think we said like four episodes, right? Yeah, four yeah. Wow. episodes. I love the season. I'm glad queens are staying more. And I'm, I love the fact that we're being able to showcase queens and they're getting paid because they should be getting paid a lot more. But then I'm also sitting here like, this is a very long season. It's feeling like Grey's Anatomy. Can we like, <laughs> can we, like get things going? Can people start dying off now? Like, <laughs> mm. And do you guys have any favorites? Lady Camden. Oh, Lady Camden. I love her story so far. And I know that she started off really slow and really quiet, but so far she's been mm, loving it so far. Ooh. I love about Lady Camden the fact that when she wins an episode, it's like by a mile. Her episode. Like, N yeah, th there's like mm -hmm. no competition there. Uh, what about you, Joey? Who do you like? I mean, like, come on, Willow. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding <laughs> me? Willow Pill. I love Willow. Okay, obviously, Angeria is perfection. Uh, like, yeah. Uh, but like, if it's like favorite to win, Willow slash Angeria. What do we know about episode 13 from the preview? I mean, I'll tell you this up front. Absolutely nothing. They're doing a roast of the hamster come alive, completely unfunny Ross Matthews. I'm sorry, I have to say this. <laughs> so yeah, we first see Angeria in the re rehearsals, I guess. Uh, and she's allegedly being funny. Next, we see Bosco allegedly not being funny, and that's literally it. So I mean, from what guess. from your videos, from what I've learned, whenever someone's shown the previews not doing well, they win. It, yeah, they'll do well, and vice versa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so since we are still on top seven, we can do a two two three division, three two two, three one three, whatever. You know, unless they of course end up changing the format of the judging and 
as I've said, you know, we have five queens in the bottom, one queen winning, and then Michelle shoots one of the queens. Who knows? <laughs> so nothing is off the table. Let's start with you, Ivory. Who do you have as your safe queen or queens? Okay, my two safe queens, and this is just for posterity reasons because I feel like they'll continue it from last episode, is safe being Angeria and Willow. I think that Willow would probably do very well, but she won't do well enough to be considered high. As well as Angeria. I think Angeria is probably really funny. I think she'll do pretty good, but she just won't do like... Or at least we won't get to see her do well enough to be high or considered mm -hmm. high. And what about you, Joey? Who do you have as your safe queens? Okay, so similar to Ivory, I also have Angeria as safe, but instead of Willow, I have Deja as safe. Angeria, I think, has a very great consistency of bringing top tier. Mm -hmm. And I think that because in the beginning of the competition, everything was so extremely polished and good. It's like the level that they're expecting out of her is somewhat unattainable. If you put anybody else in Angeria's shoes, I don't think anybody else would be able to deliver what she's delivered just the consistency mm -hmm, yeah, of the yeah. the intensity of the quality it's like a, a double-edged sword but it, she set the stakes so high for herself that it's like kind of hard to repeat at that point mm -hmm. Ben the crime in all stars three kind of thing where like she didn't yes. do the, yeah. the best one week so they like oh well you, you were at 110 percent all week so you this week's just 100 percent. oh well <laughs> what kind of critique is that i'm sorry that was so stupid yeah that is ex extremely stupid because it's like why are you grading her on a curve my safe queen i have only one queen and safe is andrea so so all three of us think that Tanjira is going to be safe because I like she's been so underedited that I'm like, I don't know if they will give her another win or like another really high placement. So I was like, you know, safe. I'm fine with her being saved this week. That's totally cool with me. So then who do you have as your high queens, Ivory? So like I was saying, to continue from last week, mm -hmm. um, we had the whole Camden versus Bosco like situation go off. I feel like just for, you know, production narrative we're probably going to have those two be in the top and it's going to okay. be them versus each other again but this time they're both can do well yeah i i don't i don't trust the preview this time like because at the end of this last episode you really saw bosco being like you know so motivated to do great and all of that and like yeah. imagine all that great editing that they put for her for them to have her like be low in this yeah i don't i don't i think they're trying to fool us basically with the preview yeah but i also have willow and deja so willow because i i just can't see willow not doing great in the roast i mean i know somebody will say her drew barrymore i don't remember that i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> i ignore that completely deja i just think that deja is really funny on the show they don't show it but i don't know how they will be able to hide that in the roast so she's high for me okay so about Deja, firstly, mm -hmm. I think that my reasoning for like having Deja to be safe is because I think that she would do well in the roast, but the runway is going to hold her back. Exactly. That's what Possibly, I was thinking too. Yeah. Yeah. Because her thinking, yeah. last one was rough, dude. But my tops are Willow and Camden. And my reasoning for putting Willow and Camden in the top, firstly, I think that I remember like very vaguely Willow in the panel challenge and that she did pretty well because I think she has like a dry sense of humor or at least she mm -hmm. has like a dry delivery, but it's like the perfect, like she knows when to amp up certain moments. And I think Lady Camden has the camp aspect where like some of her facial expressions and like the things that she says have more campy approaches to it when i was thinking about my placements i really focused on the emphasis of how i felt they could deliver the jokes and how they mm -hmm. could emphasize and um, do leveling so i think that with how well camden also did in that acting challenge that she i believe she won that acting challenge i think that she knows how to use her face and she's very good with her facial expressions which i think is a big part of doing rose so that's why i think willow and camden are going to be the top two plus their looks i feel like for whatever the runway is going to be i think that they are the most consistent to give looks that the judges praise we can get into the low tier queens immediately so joey since you were just saying about your high queens if i got it right your low tier queens are dia georges and bosco correct let's start with bosco because <laughs> <laughs> let's hear it <laughs> okay so i love bosco i think bosco is incredible my thought was when i saw that there was like a consistency of work like the outfit was the exact same silhouette it reminded mm -hmm. me of how the queens talk about that towards the end of the season they run out of outfits to wear 
So if that is the case, then Bosco either packed 10 of the same outfit just intentionally, and that was the intention, <laughs> or, or sure. Bosco's running out of outfits, and these are the ones that she has left. So either she pulls something together and does a really great runway. She had, yes, like last episode as a setup to like skyrocket, like come back, come up from the ground up. And I think that because she didn't do that, it's hard to see her go have a second episode to redeem herself and to see it kind of skyrocket from there. Because it's like she even mm-hmm. fell lower than she did last time. So that's kind of how I feel about Bosco. I just, I feel like she's not really in a good position to win this roast. Okay. Well, okay. So since we all have Daya and Georges in the bottom three, let's first hear from you, Ivory. Why do you think that Deja is going to be in the bottom three? Okay. This isn't anything on her. She's hilarious. Um, She's super, super fun, charismatic. Deja is getting underutilized by the producers. I can see production rigory a mile away and they need to give her a reason not to to be in the final four because so far she's got nothing narratively speaking from the season. They need to put her in the bottom once more before she can can get eliminated, basically. My third bottom three queen is Lady Camden because uh, the last time when she won, the next episode she was low. So I'm thinking that the production is going to try to like repeat that because like as we said, when she wins, she wins by a mile and so close to the finale to have somebody dominate the competition so fiercely it just kind of doesn't have us believe that like oh anybody could win we're more left with the idea that that it's like who can beat camden you know which if you don't build that storyline from the beginning it doesn't really work so i think that that's why they're going to put her in the low tier are we all agreeing that the bottom two are going to be diane george yep yep (laughs) i I mean like like, okay no okay okay Daya, her comedy is is dry. It's so dry, no one laughs. That's how dry her comedy is. And Georges is Georges. I love how we don't even have to give arguments. We're just like, it's Daya. It, it's George's. Yeah. yeah. It's chocolate, you know. <laughs> it's chocolate. Uh, so since we all think that Diane and George's are going to be in the bottom two, what do you think is gonna go home? Wouldn't this I- be George's fifth time in the bottom? Yes. Y- yeah. Yes. I mean, that's the kiss of death, isn't it? Like, no one's lasted longer than four so far. That's not really even a kiss of death. It's more of like a, a heavy blow to the head. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's blunt force trauma. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. I want Georges but, to stay, but I, I know too. Georges Same. won't. And I think it's because, like, I find this to be so prominent, but the fact that the producers kept in the clip from Daya saying that Okay, it's hilarious, by the way. I saw someone tweet it as well. When she said that I think RuPaul is an organ donor for Georges. Yes. <laughs> like, the fact that they kept that in to me, that was, like, the biggest, like, hint that Georges versus Daya was coming. Mm-hmm. Because, like, or at least, like, in the future. Because I feel like the fact that that's pointed out is, like, obviously RuPaul loves Georges. But, like, I think the fact that is, like, prominently pointed out by Daya and the producers kept that clip in. I think that that is like setting it up for this bottom two. And I think that mm-hmm. like Daya is just going to like try to serve it as much as possible. And then I I, I feel like Georges is going to get eliminated, but like I want Georges to stay. After last yeah. episode's read of Bosco, I was, I screamed. I was like, Georges <laughs> needs to stay. I'm sorry. No, no, that was, that was hilarious. When she said that, I was like, you know what? That's exactly what I would have said. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, that's you, exactly you what You know what? Said. Fair. You both think that Georges is going to go home, but don't want that to happen. No, yeah, exactly. I don't even okay. think she'll lose the lip sync. I just think that uh, I'll send her home for posterity <laughs> reasons. I'll be controversial and say that I want Daya to go home. No, that Daya is going to go home and Georges is going to lip sync until the end of the season. I just I'm here for it. I've, I would, I I would die. I would happen. love it. Honestly, I think that she's not that she's not gonna be bothered even if she goes home this week. Oh no, she definitely she pulled yeah. a silky. She's she got her bucket piece way up now. And who do we think is winning? I'm gonna say Willow because I, I need her to have another win this season. I also think that Willow is gonna win this episode just because <laughs> her timing is very well and I think that her runways have been consistent with the exception of last week. I think that her runways <laughs> are consistently great. I think that Willow is going to succeed in this episode kind of re-peak because I feel like it's been a while of her being either like safe or like just like kind of like cruising by since her last mm-hmm. win. By the way, I just want to remind you that her last win was in January. Well, first of all, I already said like Bosco's winning this episode for sure. The, the narrative is all over the place. I love Camden, but Bosco's going to win this episode. They, they okay, need to like okay. differ one because they can't have her lose again. Now, the issue is if Bosco wins in the bottom again, she's going home. Everyone here can out lip sync Bosco for sure. By the way, when you say uh, everyone here, do you mean everybody 
here in this Zoom call or Oh yeah. I mean <laughs> I ever I mean everyone honestly. here in the state in the country, you know, like I haven't like <laughs> Look. Listen, I love Bosco. I think she's a great performer. I just think that the entire season has better performance. Hot take. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? Everyone. Like she's is... been putting on a show. Yeah. Right? <gasps> yeah. That's really? What I'm yeah. Wow. That's a that's a thought. They're gonna get your ass in the comments. I know not. they are, but I know they are. But I, I listen. I love Bosco. I I was like, ooh, Bosco's fun, fresh, funky. You know, I love that. <laughs> but then I'm like, Bosco, she's kind of stiff. So do you think she's like a Jan type? I yes. Think Jan or. Alaska, even Alaska on All Stars oh, too. You are a Bosco hater. It's, it's <laughs> I'm not a hater. I love Bosco. I like, think she's great. For a second, I was gonna ask if you were Bob, and this was um, <laughs> Blair St. Clair. No, no, I was like, I'm, I like Bosco. If the issue is, I don't think she went a lip sync against anyone else on this cast. Yeah, Bosco for you is what Tehran's story was for me. <laughs> oh, no. oh. That's read out. They're gonna <laughs> leave me on Twitter. <laughs> They're gonna get my ass. Wait a minute, who are we talking about again? Are we talking about Bosco, Bosco still? Bosco. Okay, yes, yeah. yes, yes. I think that if in this episode she's able to reclaim some of that energy, I mean, she could become a front runner again. How many episodes do we have left? See, that's an interesting thing because I see a lot of people mentioning that there are going to be only 16 episodes, which does mean that there are going to, well, that there is either going to be a double sachet or a top, a top five finale. Five. Yeah. Which is like, That'd be like, too much. Yeah, let's not That'd do that. That'd be too much, yeah. Imagine if they save someone at the very end for a top five. If you <laughs> That'd don't. That'd be the cherry on top of the season. Don't put it out into the... No, do, <laughs> no. Don't do that. No, 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 no. Not on oh, that. No. no. I will allow Alyssa Hunter being brought back. I will I allow that. Yes, yes, exactly. That, we need her. She's just so bomb. I love yeah. her. For the ending of this, I think we have all come to a unanimous decision that the winner of this season is going to be either Angeria or Willow, right? Correct. Yes, but I can't yes. wait for Cam to be an All-Stars. These squeezes on All-Stars are going to kill it. Oh, absolutely. George's on All-Stars? George, yes, I was just about to say oh. with the lip sync format, it's over. Oh. Yeah. Not to mention Jasmine. Oh, wait, what if they're lip sync assassins? <gasps> oh, that would be Ooh, good too. No one ever thinks of that. What if a new yeah. queen like Heidi was on lips, like was a lip sync assassin? What about these queens? Let's say that we that we can pick only one queen from this cast to be on like the next All Stars. Who do we pick? Georges. Hey, Georges. I'll be controversial and say Maddie. 